there are people out there who think airsoft vests, they should be good enough, but they forget to consider those weren't built to carry plates. So for those who are looking for a budget plate carrier, this is your gateway to a good one. Hey guys, I'm Nick. <laughs> I'm David. <laughs> and this is the review of the HRT RAC plate carrier. So this was uh, given for us for testing by Bad International. So thank you, PJ, for lending us out. And actually, we got this almost like January, summer, summer in January. So we've been doing extensive testing with this. And now, you know, as you can see, we also have our own vest, so we're here to give our inputs on what we think about the vest. By the name, the plate carrier is supposed to hold plates, so of course that's the primary function. You gotta be able to put your uh, armor plates inside, they gotta be comfortable. They also have to be fitted to you, they have to be covering all your vital organs. So I think those are the primary functions of your plate carrier. In essence, you can actually run it like uh, like this, in essence. That's right. Even if you just remove your placard, that's what Nix did, it still functions as a plate carrier, carrier. because that's what it does. It so that's its plates. primary function. Yeah. Whether you're military, law enforcement, and and I, you know, I even believe even citizens who decide that they want extra protection, they should actually consider this. What do you think? Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's well within your rights, I believe, to own uh, plate carriers. After all, they are for protection. Just gotta hold all your basic kit, uh, your ammo, your IFAC, anything medical, sometimes a bag. So anything that's mission essential. So again, mission dictates gear. That's up to you, whatever it is you need. But yeah, that's basically the, uh, what you need to have on your uh, plate carrier. Okay, now that we know what a plate carrier needs to be, we can now discuss on what we like and what we don't like about this plate carrier. Okay, so you started to mention like first and foremost, like comfort is like top priority. And I have to admit, when it comes to the plate carrier, you can like wear it all day. It's one of those plate carriers. I like how it like rides here on the shoulder. It's not like too close here in the neck and not too far out either. But what I did notice though, that because like it's on the thick side, this, uh, this what you what you call it a uh, shoulder strap when in when you're like trying to shoot your weapon so uh, yeah empty chamber nothing there it it tends like there there are instances where i miss the shoulder pocket and I end up here and vice versa so there's like for me a little uh, sense of inconsistency i mean how does it work for you for your uh, uh cry gpc yeah so this is a cry jpc 2 um, definitely do not get that problem um, because the shoulder straps are basically uh, almost like a flat elastic. So no matter how you uh, shoulder your rifle, there's no way it, it can, yeah. it doesn't get in the way basically. Yeah. First of all, when you actually buy the cry, um, it already comes with, of course, uh, the front and back panel and uh, th these standard um, uh, straps, wouldn't, the side straps, wouldn't say they're cummerbunds, but uh, so you don't need to buy them separately, you get it as is. But uh, what you don't get is uh, any form of a placard or, or something to put your magazines in. So that's added cost. Um, and of course, these things aren't exactly very cheap. So yeah. now, but you know, now that you mentioned placard, that's for me one big minus that we have for this one. The clips that comes with the placard, mm -hmm. the big minus. So let's get our our placards. So this is the HRT uh, AR uh, magazine placard. This one costs four thousand six hundred. This one, which is like uh, it's not pretty steep, I'd say, like considering that there are like other options out there. But then, this is where the problem arises. So if you do want to switch placards. It, 
it won't the clip won't fit uh, you can see that the clip won't fit like this is the Haley micro this is the micro right this yep. is the Haley micro I cannot use this right away David on the other hand can use can use it <laughs> and here's the thing so like when it comes to other systems I'm also using a Haley uh, micro over here the placard and it fits like without having to change the buckle but for the case of HRT it seems like you have to get HRT products in order to use it right away and if you decide to go for something like this and like other products you'll have to change this uh, female buckle as well so for me it's like I mean if you're going to be part of the game you might as well join the whole gang I don't know why there's a need to have proprietary clubs so. So I don't know. That's a minus for me, definitely. Yeah. So just to uh, just a disclaimer there, when you buy uh, the Cry JPC, it doesn't actually come uh, with these female buckles. So you gotta buy them separately. Um, they're very cheap, and um, strangely enough, they are standard. So I don't know again why HRT decided to go with their own clip, different <laughs> size clips. Yeah. And here, just to demonstrate, you can see these are actually different colors. So there's the, the tan one and the black one. The black one actually came with the vest. So like, there was this sense of like, yeah, we're going to be compatible with everyone else, with the Haley, with the Spiritus, with the other brands. Uh, and then so for, for me, this is where the HRT takes a little hit. So like I, I, I did some more rounds with it and I like how like, it's easy to move around with it. Uh, is it comfy? Yeah, it's it's comfy. It's comfier than it looks. Like when you look at the photos, it looks stiff. It looks a little bit ugly. <laughs> but like when you add everything, when you add everything, like it, it's actually, it actually looks good. And what I also like is you go to Bad International. They have a lot of other attachments to put like on the vest. But then like you were talking, for example, like how much minus the backpack. So just the vest and then the placard, how much is your set? Just getting the Cry JPC alone is probably going to set you back around three, four hundred dollars. The Haley placard is another one hundred eighty dollars. You can get a standard Cry um, uh, mag care that looks pretty much just like that. Uh, it's also going to set you back at probably another eighty to hundred dollars. So it's not cheap. Um, compared to getting something from HRT, which is, first of all, available locally. And second of all, uh, well within reach. We're talking about pricing. Like what you see right here, it's less than 20,000. But then when you put the addition, if you want to get the additional cummerbund with the quick release, the more you try to upgrade this, the more you're going to spend for vests like this or this. So if you are if you want like a simple setup, the HRT RAC plate carrier is excellent. Uh, but then when if you want something fully loaded out like this or like this, then that's where you might want to like check your options out there. So David, who do you think this vest is for? You know, if you're just getting started or if you're just looking for a simple plate carrier that, hey, you know, I've got, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only new to this sort of thing and I'm looking for something to get started with, then yeah. Uh, I can start with the uh, I can start with the HRT. Um, it's for all intents and purposes, it it does the job. It's just that given its uh, setbacks, it'll you know you're gonna have to do your own research and say, okay, this, is this what I need? Am I gonna be happy with um, you know despite everything that uh, is different? Uh, from the other uh, industry standards. And for me, I think this is for those who, there are people out there who think that the airsoft vests are like, oh, you know, airsoft vests, this should be good enough, you know, they, they cost like 8,000, 9,000, the really good airsoft vests. But they forget to consider those weren't built to carry plates. And this primarily is a plate carrier. So for those who are looking for a budget plate carrier, this is your gateway to a good one. And like along the line, like I can see that you can upgrade, like slowly upgrade to it, so on and so forth. But you have to consider if you're going through that upgrade path, you're missing out on like the other industry standards out here. That like if you were to spend that much money on these guys, you'd probably end up like with something similar. 
So that's something to really consider. But as a budget plate carrier, I'm pretty convinced of this one. And if you're looking for this, there are assortment of colors. Just check out Bad International for the different colors. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the review of the HRT REC plate carrier. And we're happy. We're happy with it, I have to say. Thanks, guys, for watching. And if uh, you have comments about this vest or you want this vest, uh, put it on the comments. And if there's anything you want us to review, like here, let us know in the comment section. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.